The, the Scotland thing as well, because we've got the Celtic Rangers thing. Yeah. No, I, I got myself involved in that. You I did. Uh, we'll touch on that because the, the Sunderland, the Celtic thing, do you, now be honest, do you feel as if you antagonise that a little bit? No, do you know what I feel? As I've just told you, if someone tells me not to draw a cartoon in Mohammed, I'm going to draw a 10. Yeah? I was in Sunderland, nothing to do with Celtic fans. I never mentioned Celtic. Yeah? And all of a sudden I'm getting all these threats and I'm looking online at all these people threatening me. I'm looking at them, they're looking at normal lads. And they're saying, if he's in, if he's in, if he's in Sunderland, we'll do this, we'll do that. And I go through them all and I look at women's profiles and they've all got these Palestine flags and it pissed me off. I thought, so I said, who, the, who are you telling me where I can't, can and can't go? I'll be in Sunderland. And then, and then I went through basically saying, if you love Palestine that much, try walking through it. Yeah? Because you can't and you wouldn't. All you women waving the Palestinian flag, take your Palestinian flag and go over there. I've been there. I've been there. You're one, and, and, the, and most people presume. I went to a wedding. Keeley's wedding. Yeah? I can say it now because he split up with his missus. But I went to my mate's wedding in Ireland. Was you there? No. no. I went to my mate's wedding. And all the Irish hated me. Yeah? And I'm sitting there thinking, because they have this perception of me, that because I started the EDL, I must hate Catholics and I must hate the Irish. And for those people to understand, which I say, my mum's Irish, yeah? I am a loyalist. I love Britain. It's the country that's given me... I, I love England. I love the royal family, yeah? I, I, I love it. And, 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 and that doesn't mean I hate the Catholics. It doesn't make, mean that. And then because a lot of our supporters would have been loyalists as well, I had... My, my mum's... My mum's... My granddad's brother was shot dead... 1916, 15 years old in the East Rock Rising. Yeah. My family are all from Ireland. I'm in England. I'm in England. I'm born in England. I didn't have an Irish dad, an English dad, English dad. And I, I've never been to Ireland until this wedding. Yeah. I've never been there. I don't feel a connection there. But some people, my mate here does. In fact, I'll tell you a funny story. He's Sean, Sean sat here. He is Celtic mad. His old family. I had his yeah, dad's, yeah, yeah, I had his dad starting on me. I had his dad starting on me. Like, Four or five months ago, bro. Mm -hmm. And his dad started at me about, you, you have to... And I'm like, what? I said... And, and, and even... I, I remember... In, in Luton, everyone goes out for St. Patrick's Day. Everyone goes out for Paddy's Day, yeah? I've never felt Irish. I remember going out on England top. <laughs> but, but, but I still know all the Irish and I love them, yeah? And I've gone out and I remember... I messaged him saying, listen, you bog Irish prick, yeah? If you ain't out on St. George's Day... I'm going to get a firm of lads together. We're going to come down to Wembley. And I'm messaging them on Twitter as banter. Yeah? We're going to get a firm of lads together and we're going to come smash your potato picking heads in. Yeah? It's me and him having humour. Yeah? Front page of the Irish Post. <laughs> Front page of the Irish Post. My mum, my mum and my auntie, my mum and my, it was on Twitter. My mum and my auntie walked in through the paper and said, what the fuck is this? And I was like, <laughs> but it's because the rivalry between Celtic Rangers is so strong. But, but we don't have that in Luton because Luton's a complete Catholic yeah. town. Because obviously somebody did get injured on the Sunderland and it could have been prevented. Well, no. It could, no. So basically they made this video, yeah? I made a video saying, shut your mouth, basically, yeah? All right, and if you love Palestine that much, go there. My, my thing that wound me up is I just saw such hypocrisy and then I heard songs about Lee Rigby and then I saw such hatred of British people. And I've never experienced that because all the Celtic fans I know in Luton are not like that. Yeah? All the Celtic fans I've known don't, publicly showing any hate. I've never seen it like that. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing this genuine hate of British Armed Forces, the refusal to wear the poppy. And it was all a learning curve to me. So I'm witnessing all of this. And then, um, so I made a video saying about Palestine. And then when, so, well, I turned up to do a book launch. That's what I was doing. I didn't even know Celtic playing at the time when I booked it. And then one of the lads gave me a Rangers shirt. And I put the Rangers shirt on. And that is what brought the Celtic youth down. And do you know what? If I was an 18-year-old Celtic fan... And I go to football, I'd have gone down and had a pop with me. So I didn't blame the kids for turning up. They turned up to families and we had kids there. They set foot rocket launchers, fire, fire flares off. I should never have involved myself in that argument. Yeah. And do you know why it upset me? Because I had so many Celtic fans who have followed me for years. Like even like this. Sean. This <laughs> this potato, even like this potato picker over <laughs> and we have I come back to yours afterwards didn't I mm. and he's there with Celtic shorts on I said mum and we're all laughing but we laugh, laugh about it I, mm -hmm. so obviously in Scotland they've made a big thing of that up there I know massive I know massive I know and I sort they? of and do you know what do you know what I don't 
look, I, I don't like, I don't hate people for supporting a football club. I, I, I do hate that section of that support. It's bad. That celebrate the IRA. Yeah, that support. That, that celebrate. It's both sides. It's both sides. It? It's the hatred that's so. I should have. So you know what? My, my battle is with my battle is with the real problem in twenty in, mm. in, in where we're at now, and. um you know, to solve that problem, Catholics and Protestants would have to unite. Still Christians, yeah. Still Christians are going to have to solve it because the same problems here are now in Ireland. Yeah. So even on that sense, yeah, 